Okay, I'm still working on efficient ways of driving LED mains bulbs and I came up with this circuit today and I'm going to call it the piezoelectric buzzer inverter and uh, I call it that because it uses a piezoelectric buzzer which is one of these things here uh, to pulse the base of a transistor and I think it's got a built-in oscillator circuit inside that so it's tailor-made for the application we're using it for and uh, it works really great and I'm um, getting fantastic light output from this circuit on their low voltage so I'll just run through the circuit diagram quickly so we've got the uh, power source here that wants to be 4.5 volts or greater 22k variable pot PTO electric buzzer it's a 12 volt one uh, LED from emitter to base 3055 transistor and this is a mains transformer which we run in reverse so we get high voltage across the LED bulb here and that's basically about it so I'll show you the circuit running now this is the bulb I'm going to be using for the test it's a 240 volt 1 watt mains rated LED bulb and before I put it on the PTO inverter I need to find out how bright it is from the mains voltage and to do that uh, I use a little homemade light meter as all it is is an LDR light dependent resistor taped to the front of the bulb and I measure the resistance across an ohms meter and then if I can repeat that uh, ohms reading with the PTO inverter I know I'm at mains brightness or, or above so as what I'll do now is I'll switch it on it's nice and bright and the ohms reading is 33.4 ohms so that's our control reading so well 33.6 so if I can get that reading with the pizza inverter we're at mains brightness so I'll move everything over to the pizza inverter now okay so this is the setup on the bench and uh, what you see here is exactly how I showed on the circuit diagram. I just use all the crockeries just to make things easy to change. And uh, this is the uh, piezoelectric buzzer there. That's the key to the circuit. Our 22k pot. Power source today is my trusty wall adapter and it's on the 6 volt setting but it's actually outputting about 8.5 volts on that setting. Large mains transformer ran in reverse. 3055 transistor and it's got the uh, LED from emitter to base. We've got an amp meter and then our light meter here, the bulb. So I'll switch it on now. And I'll just adjust this pot and the light will come on. So that's come on and that already looks nice and bright. And it's only drawing 27 milliamps. But if we look at the light meter reading, we're nowhere near mains brightness. We've got to come down to 33.6 ohms to be at mains brightness. So it's what I'll do is I'll slowly increase that, but there's no noise at all coming from this. And I've got it on a hard surface, so if it starts vibrating, you'll hear it, but it's very quiet. So I'll just adjust the potentiometer now and increase the light output. Well, that's at 34 point, well, 35.6. That's blazingly bright now. And I've still got plenty to go on this pot here. So I'll just increase it slightly more. So we're beyond mains brightness now. 33.3 ohms. So that's actually brighter than the mains now. And the current draw is 178 milliamps. And there's no noise from this. If I put it to my ear, I can hear it buzzing away. And if I increase the potentiometer to its full uh, capacity, we might get a buzz out of it. Now it's starting to buzz now, but if I lift it up, you can't hear a thing. Well, there we go. It's quiet. So we're overdriving this bulb now. And that's on uh, 8 volts, even though it's on the 6 volt setting. But if I just back the pot off slightly... You can hardly hear it, and it's still overdriving the bulb. Now, if I put that uh, wall adapter up to the next setting, I would probably blow the bulb. 
and I've only got one left. I did have this one, but I dropped it and it's uh, broke. But uh, yeah, this light meter has made it really easy to see if any changes are made to the circuit, uh, improve things. And uh, I've got mains brightness there on eight and a half volts and 192 milliamps. So uh, I'm quite pleased with this. And uh, I may use this in some other oscillator circuits because it's tailor made for pulsing transistor bases. We might be able to do something with uh, exciters or something maybe with that as well. But uh, that was the fun for today. But uh, I'd say this is the uh, best results I've had to date with uh, lighting these LED bulbs. Okay, thanks for watching.